Hi, welcome to Pia Tech Talk. In this episode, we are going to continue with our Blinky project. We're going to replace the software delay loop with a timer instead. So we're going to start a timer zero and generate an interrupt. And that will call a callback function in our project to set a vari variable to uh, give us the, the needed delay. So let's start up eSquare Studio and uh, tag along. In eSquare Studio, we hit File, New, C++ Project, Renaissance RA, and we'll give it a name. We give it uh, the FSP configuration uh, for the RA2L1, so the BSP configure the correct uh, MCU, but we deselect that immediately so we don't have any BSP in the project from the very beginning. Next, and we have a bare metal minimal. Up here we have the perspectives. We have the C++ perspective, we have the FSP configuration perspective, and we have the debug perspective. The FSP configuration perspective is the highlighted one and it's the one that we are currently in. So it highlights the MCU and all the pins that are used in this project. Uh, the pins on uh, mostly the VDD and VSS pins that are highlighted since we don't use an BSP in this application. We also have the configuration tab here. And if you don't see the configuration tab, you find it by double clicking on the configuration.xml and it will up here. So in the configuration tab here, the FSP configuration, we start with setting up the pin that we are going to use. And we are going to use the pin 503. So we port five, and if we hit port five, we can see here these highlights up here in the right corner because that are all the pins that are consisting of the port five. And we are going to use the port 503. So now there is only one highlighting there. So we give it a symbolic name that we remember. We call it the LED one. It's disabled from the beginning, but we enable it and put it at initial low. That is all we need to do for the pin to be configured. Now we need to set up the timer. So we go to stacks. Here in the stacks configuration, we hit new stack, driver, timer, and timer on Renaissance general purpose timer there. So the configurations for the timer, we see down here in the left corner. So we go on the general and we see which timer it actually used. So it's used the timer zero. And uh, it's a periodic timer and we use it uh, with uh, one hertz uh, periodic resolution. And we also would like to have a callback for it. So we go under interrupts and we hit timer underscore call back and we give it a priority for the overflow flag priority 2. Now we are done in the FSP configurations we generate the code for this changes that we made we can now change to the C++ perspective instead and we open the file halcentry.c in here we are making a small variable And this variable, variable is a boolean that we're going to use to keep tag on when the timer has uh, timed out. So after one hertz, uh, we will have a callback and the callback will uh, toggle this uh, boolean. So we have a static volatile boolean uh, variable called g timer finished equals false. So we initialize it with the value false from the very beginning as well. 
loops. So, and now we need to also incorporate the callback function for the timer. So we get down here to the developer assistance. And now we see that in the former episodes, we only saw this GIO port driver, but now we also see the G timer. So we open that menu and we get down a very in the end and we see the callback function definition there. So it's already a definition set up for us here. And there it says add to do, add your own code here. So we, we take our uh, Boolean um, uh, variable. And we give it value true whenever that callback comes to here. So that is our callback function done. Now we get down to the main file and it says add your own code here. So to use the timer, we need to do two things. We need to open the timer and we need to start the timer. So we get down here to the G timer again and we see call open. So we drag that into the project and we also need to start the timer. So we have now the open and the start. And these are now for if we make want to make some error handling and we don't capture that, so we just remove it. And we need to do a small while one loop So we get captured here. We also do like this just to make a small debugging. We toggle a breakpoint on the callback function. So we start to pro uh, the, the timer, we open the timer and we start a timer and then we just go here in the loop and we wait, we wait, we wait. And we break the code when, whenever these callback functions get true. So we try to build a project Zero errors, we debug the project. We hit resume, and as usual, we always got stop on the whole entry from the very beginning. So we hit resume again, and the project will start. So after one hertz, we get tra trapped in this callback function. So there is a trap here for this G time exactly as we wanted. So we start it again and we get stopped in this immediately every time. Great, so the callback function and the interrupt works. So we can now go back to the C++ configuration. We can remove this breakpoint. It's not needed any longer. But we're going to toggle an LED instead. So I have prepared big code for this one and I will replace my small while one loop with this loop instead so it's still a while one loop so we go with the pin right and if we remember correctly we go for this pin right here And we put the BSP level high for the LED one. And then we wait until the G timer finished, the Boolean uh, gets to tr the value true. So as long as it's false, it's stuck here. And that's, uh, whenever the, the, the timer gets called and it's true, then it goes further on down here. And then we immediately put it to false again. And then we toggle the LED and then we wait once more. So we have our small wait loop here. So we try to debug the build this one. And there was zero errors. We debug it again. And now we have the board uh, here as well. So it's the EKRA2L1 from Renaissance. Uh, so we hit enter. So 
So it gets stuck on the Highland tree again. And we just hit enter once more. And we see the LED now start blinking blue at one hertz. Success. So we stop the debug, debug session and we go back to the FSP configuration. And now I closed the FSP configuration so I can't see it. So we, we double click on the configuration.xml. So we are back here. I would like to now to change the, the timer. So here we have the interrupts, uh, the timer, and it's on one hertz. So now we change it to 10 hertz instead. So when we make changes here, we need to generate the project content. That is done. We now build a project again and debug it. Once more, and now we see the LED is blinking at very 10 hertz instead of 1 hertz. Success! The LED is blinking. So in this episode you learned how to uh, start and configure a timer and uh, configure also the callback function. I hope that you learned something and if you liked it please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.